向支持中华民国的各位侨界先进表达最高的敬意。台海和平是东亚和平与繁荣的基石。一九三零后积极改善台湾关系，已经大幅缓和台海紧张的情势。精彩！欢乐一百，辉煌一百，特立一百，珍惜一百。是的，今天我们修正地区所有侨胞共聚一堂，以最欢心、最心情，一起来庆祝我们中华民国一百年的国庆。Distinguished guests, the Congressman Pete Dawson and the Director General Joseph Chen, and a lot of the my good friend and ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure on behalf of Double Ten Centennial Celebration Committee, I'd like to welcome all of you to tonight's gala to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of China, Taiwan. This is a special day for all overseas Chinese, Taiwanese, and I am very glad to have anyone, everyone here to share in this festivities of this important day. 100 years ago, Republic of China Taiwan was founded by the Dr. Sun Yat-sen and is the first democratic country in the Asia. This year, Double Ten Centennial Committee will showcase our rich culture and the heritage. There are 32 activities. To it's a time I need to recognize all the this. Second, state representative Sarah Davis and uh, his husband is Ken Adams.
and we are looking for your support for another hundred years. Chao Li, 各位女士、各位先生，今天很荣幸啊，受邀来参加我们就是等于庆祝中华民国一百年的国会会举办的国庆的酒会。刚刚我们业主也已经说明了，今天。我们这在这里庆祝中华民国的生日啊，它一共举办了三十二项的这个活动，其中啊有很多项都对他非常的很感动。事实上，我也有跟他有同感，尤其是上个礼拜在我们的华埠群的游行以及申请节，我们都非常的感动。刚刚他也没有讲到一个，就是从来没有看过这样的阵仗，真的是了不起。为中华民国以及为我们休斯顿地区啊，创立了另外一个历史，所以我们正在这里非常感谢所有当天他参加的这个游行的队伍的我们的乡亲，以及我们的职工，也还有申请典礼的职工。呃，在最后也要祝我们各位啊，这个身体健康，万事如意，祝我们的国家国运长隆，国泰民安，风调雨顺。谢谢各位，谢谢。Thank you for that kind introduction. Good evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good evening. Thank you all for inviting me to be here tonight. I'm honored to join you in the celebration of the centennial of the Republic of China, also known as Taiwan. And I'm honored to be sitting next to Director General Joseph Chen. Now, as all you know, heads up the Houston Taipei Economic and Cultural Office. And I'm also going to be sitting with State Representative Sarah Davis and her husband, my old friend, Ken Adams, as well as Harris County Shade Sheriff Adrian Garcia and his beautiful bride. This 100th anniversary is an important milestone for Taiwan. 100 years ago, on October 10, we saw the fall of China's last imperial dynasty which opened the door to the very existence of Taiwan. And I don't have to tell you what a pivotal role Dr. Su Yat-sen played in the birth of the Republic of China. He is known as the father of the nation of Taiwan. America, of course, has a similar story. With our own early struggles to gain control of our own destiny, Fighting a revolution to free a nation from the tyranny of a king in a far, far away land. Achieving our liberty took the same kind of vision, courage, and leadership that Dr. Sun Yat sen provided Taiwan. As current Taiwanese President Mai Ying Zhou recently said, and this is a quote, Dr. Sun Yat sens dream for a constitutional democracy was not realized on the Chinese mainland, but today is taking root, bore fruit in Taiwan. <laughs> it is because of our similar struggles for freedom that America is such a strong ally of Taiwan. We understand and support the desire for independent sovereignty. Since its inception, Taiwan has embodied universal principles of democracy, human rights, freedom of religion, and a free market economy. On behalf of the entire Texas legislature, uh, I am very excited to present a proclamation. A little bit of background on April 26th of 2011, a very special ceremony was held on the floor of the 82nd Texas Representatives. Uh, where we honor and recognize this wonderful celebration, and I would like to read the proclamation to you. Whereas proud Texans of Chinese descent are joined with ethnic Chinese across the nation and around the world to celebrate the centennial of the Republic of China in Taiwan, and whereas on January 1st of 2011, the coalition of individuals and organizations in Texas known as the Republic of China Taiwan Double Ten Centennial Celebration Committee held an inaugural event 
to kick off a year-long celebration of the founding of the Republic. Among its highlights will be the observance of the Republic of China National Day on October 10th, also known as Double Ten Day. The event commemorates the uprising in the city of Wuchang on that date in 1911, which led to the overthrow of the Manchu dynasty, and whereas the success of that revolt led to the founding of the Republic of China by Dr. Sun Yat-sen on January 1st of 1912. One of the preeminent figures in Chinese history, Dr. Sun played an instrumental role in leading his nation from thousands of years of monarchy to a state founded on modern principles of political philosophy, and whereas throughout its history, the Republic of China and Taiwan has distinguished itself among the nations of the world with its extraordinary progress in business, industry, and education, which has enabled its citizens to enjoy a prosperous life in an open society. The Republic has in common with the United States a commitment to free markets, democracy, and civil liberty, as well as a desire to expand cooperation and mutual understanding. And whereas by commemorating this milestone in the history of the great nation, the members of the Republic of China Taiwan Double Ten Centennial Celebration Committee honor not only the ideals of Dr. Sun Yat-sen and his commitment to freedom, but also a common heritage of incomparable richness that is shared by all people of Chinese descent now, and therefore be it resolved that the House of Representatives of the 82nd Legislature hereby commemorate the centennial of the founding of the Republic of China in Taiwan and extend it to the members of the Republic of China Taiwan Double Ten Centennial Celebration Committee sincere best wishes for a successful anniversary year and be it further resolved that an official copy of this resolution be prepared for the members of the committee as an expression of high regard by the Texas House of Representatives. At this time, I would like to present this resolution along with the gavel that was used to sign the bill into law. Gala, a great success. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Executive Co-Chairman William Ye, Ye Hongzhi, Chu Xi, Co-Chairman Shelly Dean, Liu Xiumei, Gongnong Chu Xi, and Secretary General Cecilia Chen, Han Youping, Li Shuzhang. They truly deserve this honor and recognition for having raised the bar and achieved many milestones this year with the numbers of the events and the level of actions. Award the Yellow Rose of Texas. And this award reads, 
Governor Rick Perry of the state of Texas commissioned Dina Lowe, a yellow rose of Texas, under the laws of Texas on October 16, 2011, for her outstanding work in business and the Houston, community, Houston Chinese community. This award is given only through the office of the governor to recognize Texas women for their significant contributions to their communities and to Texas in the preservation of our history, the accomplishments of our present, and the building of our future. The Yellow Rose of Texas Award was conceived during the term of Governor Alan Shivers from 1949 to 1957. And with that, I would like to present you with this certificate. Signed by the我們還特別準備了一束非常美麗的德州紅玫瑰送給郭英女士大家好大家晚安 Sarah Davis 相信大家都听到这亚龙罗斯的开始的歌曲吧他是首侵害而动人的歌曲是表扬跟诉说一位德州的领英雄 在艺术上在事业上在回归社会上所发挥的心理贡献能得到最高的荣誉我们认识郭英女士才华洋溢秀外慧中举办大型的活动他的能力之全华是最符合州长德州黄玫瑰成就奖的精髓今晚本人代表也代表德州州政府跟我们的Rick Perry 颁发最高的荣誉 On behalf of our community We would like to thank you all for attending this wonderful event As the Dalai Lama once said our purpose of this life is to help others. We must say we have been impressed by all the people who help us on the centennial celebration and activities. All wonderful events could not have been done without your continuous support. Special recognitions go to the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office, Cultural Center, Corporation, Organization, Association, and all volunteers who have devoted your energy, your time, and your contribution this year, and uh, this in this book, that show our sincere appreciation.